Hi guys, my name's Sam. I am a trainer and assessor with ProLift Training and Assessment uh, based in Cairns. So big shout out to anyone over in Cairns at the moment. Uh, I'm actually in hotel quarantine in WA, just at Northbridge train station across the road there. So must be getting up to lunchtime because the natives are getting restless down there. Uh, there's police cars and um, there's fights and all sorts of stuff going on down there. Um, but uh, that's for another video, another time. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be moving pallets and checking to see if we, if our forklifts can uh, lift some of these uh, loads here. So if you do hear any strange noises, that's what it is. It's the train station over there. All right, so let's get to our first question. We need to move a pallet. What is the weight of that pallet? All right, fairly straightforward uh, question. However, I do see people getting this wrong when they go to do their exam. So uh, read the question, read it again, understand it, uh, and lay it out like this. All right, so six cartons to a layer and five layers on the pallet. So six times five times 30 kilograms equals what? We always use a calculator for these uh, equations too. Uh, not that I don't trust your mental arithmetic, it's just that I don't trust your mental arithmetic because you try and do it in your head, you're gonna get confused, you're under stress already from the exam, um, you might as well just you get given a calculator in the exam, so just you might as well use it. Get used to using a calculator too because <coughs> You can't use your phone in the exam, and generally you can't use your phone in classrooms either. So get yourself one of these crazy Clark's $4 uh, special calculators. Um, if you mention my name, I, I buy them at a bulk rate, so you might get them for $2.50. All right, so six times five times 30, six times five times 30 equals 900. 900 what? 900 kilos. Uh, so that's six times five times 30. The pallet is 20 kilos, so we have to go 900 kilos plus the pallet, which is 20 kilograms, which is the grand total of 920 kilos. All right, and that's how we do this. There'll be a few different variations of this, there might be drums, there might be uh, boxes, cartons, whatever, uh, bottles, what, you know, you, you know it could be there, but that's basically how you lay it out in the exam. And uh, if you lay it out like that, then we don't have to clarify anything. Uh, if you just write the answer there, no, we want to see the workings, yeah? All right, so which forklift can I use? All right, so what we're trying to work out here is which one we can use. Our data plate states that the forklifts are rated to 5,000 kilograms maximum and the load center distance is 600 millimeters maximum. So that is how much we can lift, 5,000 kilograms. Yeah, if we lift more than that, we'll tip the forklift over and then you're in a world of shit because you will damage the load, you'll damage the forklift and you quite possibly could kill someone or kill yourself. Um, so we don't want to overload the forklift. Load center distance is 600 millimeters max. So definition of a load center distance is the distance from the face of the forks to the center of load, uh, to the center of gravity of the load, yeah? So, that is the fork heel there, the heel there, uh, if you like the load backrest, uh, the vertical face of the forks, and then uh, there to the center of gravity is uh, the maximum 600, mil uh, 600 millimeters on that particular forklift, yeah? So, the way you work out the load center distance is you divide the length by two. And that'll give you the load center distance. If it's less than 600 millimeters or less, you can then load that um, onto the forklift. You can use it the tines and pick it up. So what happens if we have something over that? Well, the forklift will tip, yeah? And then you're in a world of shit again. So we don't want that. And that's why when we load forklifts, we have them hard up against the heel, or hard up against the load backrest, because we, um, if, you, if you're out 100 mil, suddenly you're, um, your load center distance, uh, you could be exceeding that, and then you're gonna tip the uh, forklift. All right, so the forklifts are rated at 5,000 kilograms max. This load is 4950 on Big Daddy. 
Boss Hog has 5,000 kilos. Little Mama has 5,100 kilos. So she's over the maximum rate of capacity. These two could be okay. All right. So let's just work out this for the, the hell of it, right? So 1350 divided by 2 equals. So 1350 divided by 2 equals 675 millimeters. So that is well over the um, the load center distance there. So we're not going to have to we're not going to worry about that. Uh, I'll just write it out a bit later. Six, seven, five millimeters. All right. So that exceeds that that amount there. We can't uh, we can't lift that load up. <coughs> 1220 millimetres, 1220 millimetres divided by 2 equals, so 1220 millimetres divided by 2 equals 610, 610 millimetres. So that puts us over this um, uh, the load centre distance, so we can't lift that up either. Uh, let's see with Big Daddy here, Boss Hog is out. Uh, and little mama's out. I reckon Big we might be lucky with Big Daddy here. So 11.65 divided by two equals uh, 11.65 divided by two equals 5.8250. All right, millimeters. It's like all the other ones, millimeters, millimeters, millimeters. So we can lift that because it's within the uh, load center distance and the 4950 kilograms is within the maximum rate of capacity of that forklift. So Big Daddy here is a clear winner. All right, um, so I'm gonna move on to some next calculations with the magic of uh, television. I'm gonna reproduce this and voila. Okay, welcome back. Um, gonna go over the questions involving the data plates. So, the data plate will be on uh, your forklift on the chassis, uh, and it'll be generally riveted on. And it's got um, you know various bits of information on there. It's got the uh, manufacturer. The, the manufacturer for this one is Boss Hog. Serial number is 007. Obviously, your your uh, forklift will have a, a lot longer serial number than that and it'll probably be a caterpillar or something like that you know um, but it has this sort of information on it the mass forward tilt three degrees forward and mass vertical what the capacities are uh, what the maximum heights are what the load uh, center distances are when you're lifting with the mass straight up and down or tilted so tilting the mass forward is generally um, when you're trying to extract the forks out you may need the forward tilt to get the forks out of that uh, obscure load, but you're generally not gonna use it that much. You wanna try and keep it uh, level at all times if you can. However, you do need to know that when you actually do tilt it forward, uh, you can see here the capacity gets reduced. And that varies from forklift to forklift, uh, same with the load center distances, uh, same with the heights, um, stuff like that. So what else would be on your data plate would be the weight of the machine, um, you know, the, the air pressure of the tyres, uh, various other things, you know, attachments and, and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, we've just kept it simple here. So when you're doing your student activity books and your exams, uh, these questions will present themselves. All right, so what is the rate of capacity when the mast has a forward tilt of three degrees? Mast, forward tilt three degrees, has a rate of capacity 1,550 kilograms. What is the rate of capacity when the mast is vertical? 1980 kilograms. So let's write both of those in. 1550 kilograms. Always put in the kilograms. You can fail a test by not putting uh, kilograms in. And once you do not get competent because you've, you've done the wrong thing, you have to come back next week and do the whole exam again because you've forgotten to put in something like kilograms there. 1980 kilograms, yep. Yeah. Uh, and then can a load be lifted when a mast is vertical? Yeah, so the mast is vertical. The load weights 1,970 kilograms. Yeah, it's below that. And the load center distance is 610 millimeters. 
No, we cannot know. The answer is no because it exceeds the load centre distance. Um, it doesn't ask for a reason why, it just says can it or can't it, so don't get too uh, extravagant with your answers on these. And can a load be lifted when the mast is tilted three degrees and the load weighs 1560 kilograms? So the load is 1560 kilograms and the mast is tilted forward three degrees. No, it can't be. So that is another one, no, right there. All right? So although they may, they may appear to be um, simple to you, read through your data plates in your student activity books and understand them. Because when I've been uh, assessing exams, I've seen people uh, open their, their, their calculation section up and they look at it like it's ancient hieroglyphics, you know what I mean? So if you're unsure now, ask your teacher. Uh, with the calculation section of your forklift exam in Australia, uh, there is no exceptions, you've got to get 100%. When you're doing your uh, theory exam, on the forklift, you can get a few wrong. We don't like you to get a few wrong, but you can. Uh, anyway, so keep reading through that, keep studying in your student activity books, uh, and ask your teacher if you don't understand anything. But that's all from me when, with regards to forklifts. Adios, over and out.